We can get the engine out. We'll get everything set next to each other. The salty chicken is coming for the ass. Ben, is it safe to say that, that car is going to be the fastest car of any YouTuber? Um, pretty much. Did he just, did he just say that? The fastest car of any YouTuber. I think he just said that. John, let me tell you something, buddy. It ain't gonna happen. It's only a matter of time before the bullet lines up with the salty chicken. So, truthfully, John is a friend. We're gonna help John out. The common questions I get is, what's the size? What's the offset, et cetera, et cetera. So today, I'm gonna spill the beans on the secret. The secret to the rear wheel setup on the bullet. Pretty soon we're gonna have to uh, clean this place up because we're gonna have some work to do. We're gonna, we're gonna have to change some things up, which I'm gonna go over with you guys here in a minute, exactly what the plan is. I know what you're thinking. Who uses a torque wrench to take off bugs? Well, I do. And that's just what it is. You see how good that wheel is tucked in there? I mean, it's got, I mean, it's tucked. It's tucked in there. And you can't achieve that without, number one, you gotta shorten the rear end. Number two, you're gonna have to mini tub. And then number three, you gotta get a special backspacing for the wheel. All those three combined on how you can achieve this look. Okay, back to my point. Oh, by the way, pro tip, a little bit of anti-seize goes a long way with these studs. I can't tell you how many times I've taken it off and it seizes up and cross threads taking it off and then you're left with <laughs> several hours worth of a mess. You got to figure out how you get it off and then if you do manage to get it off, you got to replace the stud. It's just a mess, trust me. Anti-seize on the wheel studs are gonna go a long way and it's gonna save you so much of a headache later on. Okay, so. Look at that tire, still brand new. So, this is a Weld RTS 15 by 10.5 and it is a 5.5 backspacing. Now, here's the common thing that people do. This rear end is shortened three inches, and the common thing that people do is that because you shorten the, the rear end three inches, they change the backspacing by three inches. So instead of a running a 7.5, they bring it down to a 4.5. Well, when you do that, and I actually did that the first time, when you do that, the wheel sticks out quite a bit and actually these are these are 4.5 and I'll show you these are the rat rods wheels old wheels and uh, the back spacing for the rat rod is a 4.5 same lug pattern but instead of a 5.5 like I run it's a 4.5 so I'm going to show you what that looks like no wheel spacer no nothing on the hub this is a 4.5 and Look how much it sticks out. I know it doesn't look like it sticks out from this angle, but it does. It's it's not it's not tucked in and it sticks out especially from the back. Unfortunately for John, he can't run 5.5s. And 4.5 stick out too much. So we're going to put a spacer on the 5.5 so it becomes a 5. I didn't take a look at it. This is, oh man, there's a lot of rubber. There's a lot of rubber on there. Uh, we mini tub this long ago and you can see the bump stop is gone. It's all nice and flat. Deleted the spring and went with coilovers a long time ago as well. So this all allows me for a lot of room to really put a bigger tire if I wanted to or sink the wheel in like I have it. And that's what I chose to do. Because I run, because it's a street car, I run 275, 60, 15, which is really the the tire to run on a street setup. So we don't have to go with a bigger wheel 
this 10 and a half will fit the 275 perfect it tucks under there perfect and that's it that's that's all i need so so these are close to a quarter of an inch thick each so we're just gonna stick two on there and call it a day let's get this bad boy back on there half an inch of spacer and it doesn't stick out as much as a 4.5 it still tucks in but not as much as like i not as much as i like but i think for his build that it would pass see the problem is so you can kind of see five five and a half you see how much more tuck there is on the five and a half and this is about a five not not a whole lot of tuck the the edge of the quarter panel will probably touch here if he squats but it shouldn't it, the, the car shouldn't squat all right so that's enough fun for today Try and make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. That's probably the last time this thing's gonna run for a while. That's the goal. This is the plan. However, we're, we are getting a much later start on this than I wanted to. Some, some of these things we're not gonna be able to do. Um, this is a must. Absolutely gotta replace the headers. Uh, the oil pan, also a must because it's gonna help the, the oil pressure dip during the 60 foot because we, we're 60 footing so hard that it's actually dipping in oil pressure during that time and then rising up right after the 60. So we're gonna replace the oil pan. Motor refresh, luckily my buddy uh, Hunter over at American Speed Shops, he's gonna hook us up on the motor refresh, so that's a giving. Uh, trans refresh, um, maybe, maybe if we find someone to help us out with that, maybe. Um, the transmission hasn't really given us any problems. We're definitely gonna take the torque converter apart since it's a bolt together and just look at it, make sure nothing's burned, um, clean it up and put it back together. Turbos, uh, you can pretty much count that out. Um, I am working on something special here. So we're gonna have to wait. I think maybe our buddies at SMR can hook us up on something, something new there, but we'll just have to see. Fuel pumps checked. I know Magna Fuel does service them. Um, from what I understand, it's pretty cheap to, to send them over there and just have them check it. But I do want to check those out. So that has to be done. Wiring, nope, that's definitely not going to be done. We don't have time to take this car that far apart and redo the wiring. Cut weight, we might as well just cross that out. But this, yeah, um, I think we have time to take the interior apart and see if we can find some weight somewhere. Windshield. Yes, I do have to replace a windshield because it does have a crack in it. That's the plan for Texas 2K19. It is going to be something that's going to be hectic and last minute like it always is. 
um, but it's for the better. Those things are gonna make are gonna get us going faster in 2019, and the fun starts now. So that's it for now. Um, one last thing, if you guys want any merch i still have a little bit available just send me a message if you're looking for any shirts or hats from the bullet ws6 you know the list you know the goal you know what i'm capable of it's just that time we got to get to work let's go